What's good, my people? Uh, we on Josh Skeezy right now. You know what I'm saying? We about to run a nice up. Ugh, we about to run up a nice little story time. Uh, today we're talking about sneak. Ugh. Basically, we about to be just reading Reddit story times. Anyway, this one is called story time. Sneaking out and getting caught. Now this one don't look too long. Oh wait. Oh no, I don't even be clicking on them. Yeah, they be long. They be yapping in here. Anyway, but yeah, with that further ado, let's get into it. Uh, this story time is by Poisonous Jade. Yeah, I had to make sure that they spelled that right. Anyway, let's get into the story time. I, 16 female, at the time 15 female, was a freshman in high school and I did not care about anything. I was smoking, getting suspended, and getting suspended, having bad grades, all that. You see, bro, and when she says this already, bro, she had no comma. I'm telling you, grammar is so important. Then I met this guy, 17 male at the time, 16 male, and he was my first real crush. Okay, so like, what? That's one year one year difference we were talking for two months and we never really got to hang out and one night i was determined to get out of my house because i was so damn bored for sure the original plan was to hang out with my friend at the time 17 female and drink and go to our house and everything but she wasn't able to sneak out so i decided i would go see that guy of course Bro, you know, bro, what is you expecting? It's like, why, why would you go at that time? You know, only thing that's on the mind is flesh. <sighs> Ridiculous. And how are you busting all these moves this late at night? So many questions. Anyway, without further ado, ugh, why? Bro, I swear, I just be saying that all the time. Anyway, let's get back to the original story. Uh, so I made a fake body, set up my laptop, uh, played a video, turned off the lights, and snuck downstairs into the basement and removed the sensor on the door. Bro, how are you? She done got the whole plan. She really done made a fake body. That's crazy. That's that's hilarious. And she played a video. Yeah, she def bro. She definitely needs some type of consequence just for her having this all set up. Our gate is zip tied shut, so I had to climb the fence and I and jump onto the trash bins to get out. I bolted and was out of there. I don't really remember how far I walked, but it took me 30 minutes, one hour to get there. It was, bro. Why don't she ever use? periods and commas bro it's like everything is just a run on sentence <sighs> ridiculous but yeah you walk 30 minutes to an hour to his house that's how bored you were there's no way wait I gotta go back cuz like like bro what was you doing up at this time anyway Uh. The original plan was to hang out with my friend at the time, 17 female, and drink and go to her house and everything. But she wasn't able to sneak out, so I decided. Wait, what? The original plan was to hang out with my friend at the time, 17 female, and drink and go to her house. So, how would she sneak out, but yet you're supposed to be at her house? Yeah, stuff isn't making sense. But anyway, why are you up? at this type of time Ugh, anyway uh, let's get back to it uh, 30 minutes to one hour to get there and it was so late at night by that time it was 1 a.m. and it was pitch black so you really walk 30 minutes to an hour at 1 a.m. that's crazy like how bored do you have to be you got your devi devices and all this you better uh, what's it called start binge watching the show or something it's like how like how do people really be this bored to like just go ahead and just travel at like 1 a.m. I don't understand uh, and it was pitch black now my city has a standard curfew for teenagers and I saw a cop so I ducked down into a ditch 
waited for him to pass then went into the neighborhood my location was off this whole time so the guy couldn't see where i was so i called him and told him i was almost there he came outside we went into the car and just started talking all right now i already know what's gonna happen i'm already knowing and then we did the devil's tango and we stopped about a little less than an hour later yeah i already know, I already know what's gonna happen so basically you you just wanted to go there so you can get so you get champed that's 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 basically what i'm hearing right now uh yeah, i already know what's gonna happen you was there at 1 a.m what exactly would would be happening y'all talk about homework of course not but um what was i finna say we were just talking and then all of a sudden my phone buzzed twice and i immediately knew exactly who it was it was my mom i read the text and it was not good where the fuck are you you better get your ass home now turn on your fucking location and needless to say i was fucked so i ran out of the guy's car and i turned my location back on sure he knew what happened i got in the car and was yelled at so harshly which i guess i deserve what you mean you guess you definitely deserved it bro what was you because it was like 4 a.m. Yes, you definitely deserved it. Bro, you, you only got yelled at. If it was me, my ass would have been grass. I would have no longer had butt cheeks. Um, bro, I would have been sitting there hurt. My mom, she probably would have went to jail that same night. Ridiculous. You just got yelled at. You just got done getting champed. Anyway, I got home and my phone was instantly taken away along with my laptop and I just curled into bed and went to sleep the next morning I woke up and yet you sit here text what's called you sit here texting this on your phone or your computer all, with all these ugh, with all this with no commas or no periods that's bothering me it's like how are you this grown to be doing all this but yet you don't know proper grammar and you're 16 at the time writing this Let's be real. Anyway, but uh, let's see. And I just crawled into bed and went to sleep the next morning. And I woke up and I felt like shit because I wasn't mentally ready to have sex yet. But the worst part was hearing my dad talking downstairs, and I and I instantly knew that she told him my parents are divorced. And they texted his mom, but the guy already told his mom, so she was expecting this and had no issue with it. But I was grounded for half a month and was basically put on probation. And the guy ended things with me around the time after. Dang, see? You already, you already know what time it was. He was a freshman. He was a sophomore. He was just trying to do a thug thistle. We all know what type of time it would be on. Or, I don't know. For sophomores, you know. The freshmen just come in there. And it's like a type of thing like where you see like a person that's older than you. Like you just put like your whole heart into their hands, but yet they just gonna break that shit. I'm telling you, happens every time. Uh, what happened? Uh, I'm telling you, freshmen don't fuck around with the older guys or women until you are at least a sophomore because they will not take you seriously. And she's not wrong, even though she said all this without any periods or commas. Uh. Which kind of bothered me because it's like a whole paragraph I'm looking at, and um, there's no really periods or paragraph or periods or uh, commas, so it's kind of crazy to me. You know, the the story's crazy, but the grammar's crazier. But yeah, she is not wrong. The sophomores and everybody else will not take you freshman serious. That like. They will just see you as the type of people that just try to hurry up and get to class, and you know you hold your book bag straps and yeah. But uh, I mean this was a pretty entertaining story. I'm not gonna lie to you. It it, it was pretty entertaining. So I mean, yeah, that was pretty good. But anyway, uh, shout out to Poisonous Jade on Reddit. That's who we just got done rating the story for. And without further ado, y'all, this is the end of the vid. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share. Let me know if you want to see more of these. I don't know. And, uh, yeah, y'all. Peace.